the U.S. Navy's sixth-generation fighter program, the FAXX, is progressing toward potential service in the 2030, possibly preceding the U.S. Air Force's delayed next-generation air dominance, NGAD program. One of the primary drivers behind NGAD's pause is its overall price, according to Air and Space Forces. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall paused NGAD this summer after indicating the service would only return to it if the price dropped by nearly 50 percent, from around $200 million to $100 million. Despite the cuts, the Navy remains committed to developing the F-AXX, which will feature advanced stealth capabilities, AI integration, and loyal wingman drones. The program's timely introduction in the 2030 is seen as crucial for countering China's expanding military capabilities. Tensions between Beijing and Washington in the South Pacific are only rising, requiring the imminent arrival of next-generation aerial technology for security reasons. While NAGD is temporarily paused, the Navy's F or AXX program should certainly be prioritized to ensure China and other adversaries don't achieve sixth gen technology before the U.S. does. The F E A X X, designed to replace the F E A 18E F Super Hornet and Growler airframes, will feature advanced sensors, range, and stealth capabilities with integration of unmanned platforms like Collaborative Combat Aircraft (CCAs). Over a decade ago, the Navy first outlined its intention of seeking out a replacement carrier-launched fighter jet to replace the F A 18E F Super Hornet and Growler airframes. The new jet was conceptualized to fly alongside the F-35C Lightning II and U-Class unmanned aircraft. Perhaps most significantly, the F-A-X-X will be designed to operate in anti-access, area denial environments to more effectively thwart the People's Republic of China's growing arsenal of advanced weapon systems. However, Budgetary challenges may pose a threat, as seen with the Air Force's NGAD, which was paused due to its high costs. With rising geopolitical tensions, the FAXX's success is critical to maintaining U.S. air dominance. The U.S. Navy may achieve its sixth-generation fighter program before the Air Force's parallel objective. According to the service, the upcoming FAXX platform could be realized in the 2030. If all goes to plan, the new fighter equipped with cutting-edge technologies and capabilities will enter service before the Air Force's next-generation air dominance, NGAD, airframe which has been placed on temporary hold. As detailed by Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Lisa Franchetti, the service expects the new fighter to feature advanced sensors, advanced lethality, advanced range, and the ability to integrate with manned and unmanned capabilities together. This announcement indicates progress in the Navy's new program, especially after major funding setbacks appeared to delay its fruition last spring. While the service is still grappling with budget deficits in many areas, its prioritization of bringing the FHAXX program to life comes at a pivotal moment when geopolitical tensions are heightened worldwide. To carry out this task, the upcoming airframe is expected to be equipped with all the latest stealth features, including the networking adaptability displayed by the F-35 platform. The big-name manufacturers, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, all announced they were competing for the aircraft's design contract. Additionally, Pratt & Whitney and OEMS GE Aerospace were revealed to be competing to secure the F.AXX's engine contract. While many details surrounding the F. Amaz AXX program remain highly classified, the service has divulged that the fighter will be designed to operate alongside uncrewed platforms, including Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs. Like the Air Force's NGAD platform, the naval fighter will fly alongside these loyal wingman drones to lower overall program costs. However, the service may need to dial down the price tags in other areas to ensure it doesn't require the budgetary hold currently stagnating the Air Force's NGAD program. While the Air Force continues to invest in its next-generation air dominance NGAD program, the Navy is focusing on existing military systems and readiness for potential near-term conflicts, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region.
Under the guidance of the National Defense Strategy, the Navy and Air Force are functioning with the belief that Beijing could be prepared to set off its expected invasion of Taiwan as early as 2027. If true, certain next-generation programs may not be operational according to this timeline. Although the Air Force is maintaining significant monetary allocations for its Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, Sixth Generation Program, the Navy is dramatically cutting its spending for its own FFRAF-A, XX Superiority Fighter Program. As the Hamas-Israel war wages and the tensions in the Red Sea are on the rise, the Navy has to prioritize its ongoing operations, in addition to increasing its presence in the Pacific region in an effort to deter Beijing. However, just because the service is not putting all of its eggs in the FAXX basket does not mean it has not been preparing to fill out its inventory. For the last decade, the Navy has extended its fourth-generation F-A-18E F Super Hornet production fighter line to be equipped with the latest technologies in order to avoid a fighter jet shortfall. The introduction of the fifth-generation F-35C has also been ordered in large swaths. Where the Department of the Navy really placed its priorities is on our fundamental mission of being forward deployed around the world, so that if a crisis hits, we're there on the scene, Navy Undersecretary Eric Raven told Defense News in the days following the release of the fiscal year 2025 budget. Readiness and people were the two top priorities that really came through in this budget. Although the Navy is focusing on its existing military systems to thwart China in the near future, it has not totally abandoned its next-generation concept. The exact specs and capabilities surrounding the service's new FAXX doctrine remain highly classified, but the upcoming aircraft is expected to be able to perform in air combat and air-to-air -air and air-to-ground attack roles. Significantly, the FAXX should be able to operate in anti-access area denial environments as the People's Republic of China is rapidly expanding its arsenal of advanced weapons systems. The aircraft will likely exhibit next-generation stealth features, including sophisticated sensors and radars with networking adaptability similar to the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. This open architecture design will enable an array of payloads, sensors and weapons to be interchanged. Additionally, the service has outlined the need for the fighter to be able to undergo air-to-air -air refueling, reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition. Like the Air Force's own NGAD sixth-generation fighter program, the F and AXX will incorporate collaborative combat aircraft, CCAs, these specialized unmanned aerial vehicles will fly alongside the sixth-generation fighter jet, serving as loyal wingmen drones. As detailed by analyst Peter Suchu, we can expect artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, ML, to be incorporated into the NGAD, acting as a co-pilot for the manned aircraft and allowing the unmanned aerial systems, UAS, to act independently. In other words, the drones won't require constant directions from the manned aircraft. They'll follow orders, of course, but still show initiative. All the big-name manufacturers are eager to be awarded with contracts to develop this new fighter program. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.